Hey traders, how you doing? This is Greg McLeod. This is uh, the Elite Traders University presentation of Pip and Run for Scalping. <clears throat> and my name is Greg McLeod. It's great to be with you on this fabulous Friday, the last day, the last trading day of July. Um, we're going to be looking at the uh, the London Open. We're about 30 minutes into the London Open, and <clears throat> we get started. Uh, Right now, I'm actually in some positions now, so I'm going to go ahead and just jump right into it and run scalping here. All right. And I uh, hope you guys are doing well. And uh, we are we are live, I think. Yeah, we're live. All right. Very good. Again, my name is Greg McLeod from the Elite Traders University. So good to be with you here. Hope you guys have a happy Friday and a happy weekend. I want to just direct your attention to the risk disclosure on your screen to make sure you understand all the risks involved in foreign exchange trading. And uh, so good to be with you again. Thank you so much for watching you guys on YouTube and Facebook and also the Forex Cash Machine group. Big shout out to my friends and and uh, there. OK, so we're going to jump right into um, I'm actually long the the British pound <clears throat> right now. And um we got uh, long at uh, around the one spot three nine uh, three nine five seven and uh, one point three nine five six zero. Okay, so we are looking for some upper targets here. I have a, the pound versus U.S. dollar here. I have a one-hour chart followed by a uh, five-minute chart. And uh, so what I really did was a uh, you know earlier uh, just uh, a trend line break on the one hour chart and uh, so I'm looking for the uh, test of the old uh, old high is our first uh, 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 probably our first target I'm taking some targets uh, uh, probably a little bit sooner and you know they're and they're here because you can see them on the five minute chart and you can see them right there right um, so nice big uh, breakout move um, you know uh, flag you know uh, pound dollars was flagging and uh, so we have nice uh, flag in fact if you did a uh, proper measuring objective in the flag you now if we took the, the low that we have we had a pretty good low that that wick there you know right and so if we took that as our low of the flag to the flip and so this will be our flag pole right so you got a flag pole and you move it over and so that gives you a measuring objective okay measuring objective and what you can do with this is you can actually um, duplicate this right should be something that says duplicate yeah duplicate and then once you duplicate it we can grab it and then add it to the breakout point okay that's how you uh, trade a flag pattern and so you shrink it down, you see where our possible target would be. And we just go ahead and put a maybe a horizontal line there. Now, I may not get there. You know, it's the weekend. It's Friday. Um, you know, we may stop here, move sideways for the rest of the day. Um, or we could possibly even drop below the flag and turn around and go wacky. 139.32 would be uh, what we don't want. Uh, I mean, I've got about uh, seven pips on this particular trade, and uh, I've got about uh, five pips on this trade as well. So we'll see. We'll get uh, maybe a little bit of a pullback, and then maybe we can um, to see this through up to that uh, maybe 39.72, right? And we can do some Fibonacci fun fun with Fibonacci's. We've been liking my segments on Fibonacci. I use Fibonacci to find areas of support where I can get into a trade. So I just take my Fibonacci from the to the low uh, and then to the high. So it's like Drake, that Drake song, from the bottom to the top and now we're here, right? So we went from the bottom to the top and now we're here, right? So about 39, low 39, 30, um, 39, 32. Yeah, 39.32, and uh, we got a nice break there, a bounce at the 38% retracement, 
and you know we, there's probably a bunch of stuff going on there's probably a 20 period moving average if we were to make this into a 20 instead of a 200 maybe we got some okay well we actually we we kind of broke that okay um maybe a maybe not so maybe a 50 a 50 was support perhaps All right yeah so the 50 was in the same same geographical area right and so that's what we're looking at there okay so I, I popped a video if you uh, haven't been over to the forex cash machine you really should check it out it's a pretty cool group of people awesome and uh you no know, we don't tolerate any spam or anything like that uh, we just uh no exchanging ideas and uh, you know trades uh we took some trades on the uh on the uh, dollar cat yesterday and that was pretty cool right and so we had um yeah yeah we, we traded uh, dollar cat still a fallen big congratulations to uh david g clark and he got in some he got some pips as well uh, jd big shout out to jd milking the the nasdaq 100 just beautiful entry he's an awesome trader and um it's got some some pretty good pretty good stuff there and i was able to like totally smack down on dollar cat it was a gift i kept on giving all the way south side and i think it's probably still falling i mean we just took the break uh fomc i would actually traded during fomc so we had some some good things there uh, Michael uh, got the bottom of pound dollar. He's been he's been a pound dollar bull for a while, right? And, um, and we also have a weekly analysis. Uh, later on, we'll do a weekly recap, uh, not more like a forecast for Friday, which we can use for the week. And uh, hopefully, you found them helpful. If you found them helpful, let me know in the chat box uh, in the in the Forex Cash Machine group. Come to the Forex Cash Machine and join. join uh, you can actually. You know, come to, I'll, I'll type it up up here. You go to www.forex, but spell forex, F O R E X, yeah, or the, sorry, the, the, T H E, forex, cash machine.com. That's the URL. Uh, just got a couple of questions to an, a, answer to make sure that you're not uh, a bot. No bots allowed, no bots and no spammers allowed. No no bots, no spammers, no scammers allowed. Uh, Forex cash machine right there. Okay. So, uh, no cost to join. We just uh, exchange trade ideas and have a whole bunch of fun. Okay. And uh, I'm going to take a quick look-see at the my market heat map. My arrangement of currency pairs by percentage change. We'll see what's hopping, what's popping, what's dropping, and what's not. I'm gonna bring this over here to the screen right there. Okay, and we'll check it out. I'm gonna log in. You can try it for a buck. If you've got a buck lying around and you want to get the heat map like it's behind my back, not this size though. Uh, it has been enlarged to show the show detail, right? You ever buy those cookies and they look so big in the box, but when you get them, they're like this. And then the box in a little small print says enlarge to show texture, right? I like to see something that says actual size, right? Actual size. So we're going to take a look at the Forex majors as our heat map there. And we can see that the Euro, uh, the Euro Norwegian Kroner, Dollar Norwegian Kroner, and Dollar FSR, a lot of weird ones. Uh, the oddballs are at the top of the uh, at the heat map. CAD Yen. The yen pairs are are at the top, CAD yen, Swiss yen, Euro Aussie, and Euro yen. Okay. And then um, at the bottom we have with the, the CAD. CAD is very uh, strong. Uh, CAD's beating up on Kiwi and beating up on Aussie really bad. Uh, one of the weakest currencies, uh, uh, currency pairs on the heat map. Okay. Um, so, and right now we are... Uh, in the pound, um, this because the pound usually gets pretty good momentum in the um, during London. You know, it's like one of it's one it's one of my uh, one of my instructor's favorite 
Michael Jacobson is a vice president of um, of instruction, and uh, he has a system called the London Bankers Strategy Blueprint, and he also has a really cool uh, room that you might want to join as well. Uh, let's see if I can uh, get over there to the, 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 the London Bankers Strategy Breakout Room. See what he's doing over there. And see if I can find it. And let's close that. Okay. Da -da -da -da. London. There we go. London Bankers Strategy Blueprint. Okay. And we got 105 members there, and he is very active. And he, and even you can even um, watch his case study. He in two months um, was financially free, did a thousand percent uh, using my system, and then he later re refined my system to create a very very profitable system, uh, about ninety six percent win rate. Um, he's just tremendous, tremendous trader, tremendous person, tremendous friend, and I. That's why I uh, had to invite him to be an instructor here at Lee Traders University. The people who teach here including myself, are full-time traders, and we make our money, we eat what we kill, and so that's, and we train our students to do the same. Okay, so uh, come over to London Bankers, London Bankers Strategy Blueprint, say that five times fast, London Bankers Strategy Blueprint, London Bankers Strategy Blueprint, okay, anyway, let's get back to the charts. Here we go, we're along the, uh, for those of you who are watching, and uh, let me, uh, I don't see how much I'm making. That's what I like to see. All right, let's do let's do that. Okay, let's stretch, stretch that up. Okay, hey, we got some green. Hey now, woot woot. Here we go. We're in the green. Hey Greg, you're you're a scammer. You're using Photoshop to make those gains up in the video. Okay. Yeah. Take your meds. <laughs> Anyway, um, I'm stealing pips. <laughs> We're draining the banks. That's the whole idea. Drain the banks. Okay. So hopefully we'll be out of this in the next 10 or 15 minutes so I can go back to bed. <laughs> I am, oh, I might have some tea left. And, you know. If you'd like to get a Pippin Run Cup, let me know. Send me a DM. Say, hey, let me get my Pippin Run Cup. This is my Pippin Run Cup. Hosted by Greg McLeod. I used to host Pippin Run many years ago. This is Pippin Run Returns. We got Pippin Run swag. I got my Pippin Run hat. <laughs> with my logo. It's a black man with a bag of money running. That's me. I had to po I posed for that one. <laughs> if you guys can't take a joke, just drop off. <laughs> it's okay. And uh, hey, Mario! Mario says he likes my video. Very cool. Well, let's see what video is that. Yeah, I'm making some video. I'm making these short videos. You know, I know people have like short. You got an attention span of a a, a a fruit fly. You got too much stuff going on. You need to make money forex, and so you have time to like sit around and do stuff, right? So I made I made a short video on uh, mental state, having a solid trading plan, um, and the mental state and a solid trading plan are just two keys. Um, essential for, for uh, essential for successful trading. That's a mouthful too. To a lot of S's. Essential for successful trading. So, what are some other helpful keys or tips? Okay. So, if you have a response to that, you know, type something in the comments. Let me know. Hey, I think uh, you know, meditating or. Having a drink, an adult beverage. No, don't never drink and trade at the same time. No, not recommended. Okay. Um, but I think we're getting a little bit of. If you want some action, you guys are. This is kind of boring. Okay, yeah. 
I mean, price action. I love price action. Let's get down to the 20 tick. Let's go down, down the micro world. Micro world. This is like ant. Look at this. Nice consolidation. Okay, now we can talk about this. Look, solid consolidation. Bulls and bears. Um, I mean, they're fighting it out. Like, who is going to win? The bulls or the bears? They're struggling, struggling, struggling. Either they try to break south down below what, one spot three nine six two, or they'll probably take out the high at the one spot three nine six seven. And you know, if I got aggressive and it took out that high, I I just I go, <laughs> I wouldn't go all in, but I would go in uh, pretty good. Yeah, this is a twenty tick chart. And the difference between a tick chart and a uh, another chart, you know, other time based chart. This is based on orders. So when twenty orders comes through the system, it creates a candle. Okay. So the candles are based on order flow. Remember, I talk about institutional order flow and imbalance. So right now we've got this balance right now. But once price gets above 39.67, we're gonna have imbalance. And when you see the imbalance, then that's gonna that's why I teach in the course, that's why I teach in the Elite Traders University. And I know some of my students like, yeah, 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 institutional order flow imbalance. You heard it over and over again. But guess what? It puts money in your pocket, right? <laughs> um so it may that this is, could be brand new for many of you out there who are just seeing this for the first time, like going, "Who's this Greg McLeod? Who's this guy? He's making money. He's making money, just kind of like pressing buttons and telling jokes." They're like, "Yeah, I can count to five, know my shapes, and and um, do some simple math, and we can make some money, right?" So, and I just, I'm, I actually, I have one kind of large size, you know, one million a clip. So 7.9 pips at $10 a pip. Uh, yeah, it's like $100 a pip. So $100 a pip, you close that up, that, if you did that $700 in a day, five days a week, you know, that's, that's a pretty good the pretty good take, right? Uh, $3,500 a week. Really? 35 times four? Work with me, right? 14000 14, Fourteen thousand a month. Okay. Good. Do your life change for fourteen thousand? Eh, maybe. Maybe, right? Fourteen times twelve. Well, twelve times twelve is one hundred forty-four, so it's like one hundred sixty thousand something, right? Fourteen times twelve. I got this calculator here, right? Yeah, 168,000. You add zeros at the end of that, right? Yeah, so 40. So, so if you if you if if you made $700 a day, five days a week, 3,500 a week. Okay, times four is 14,000. Times say 50 weeks. Boom. Oh, imbalance, imbalance, intruder alert, intruder alert. Stop that. <laughs> there we go. We've got a breakout. Breakout. Dun, 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 we got a breakout. The pound just made a new high. And we like to see. It's only a 20 tick high breakout. But look at the big candle on the one hour chart. Look at it. Come on, guys. Sing with me. If you know the song. Sing with me. Anybody out there? I'm I'm checking I'm checking my I'm checking my list, checking it twice, seeing out there who's naughty and nice. Santa Claus is coming to town. Pay me, pay me. Oh no, okay. Retest the breakout point and see if we can bounce off this. We're looking at it's uh, 347 Eastern time. You say, well, he's pretty awake for 347. And it's like, yeah. And, uh, oh, it, we get a pullback. It's a tick chart. Let's see how how massive the pullback is. I mean, we've probably got a uh, rising trend line right there. And uh, there we go. Maybe it's just a 
big move to the south side. Wick. Wicked Wick. Okay. Let's see if we can make a new high. Melinda's there. Hi, Melinda. Hey there. There you go. Melinda says uh, that would change my life. And if I want to keep what I've got, I might want to need to close some of this stuff down. I'm gonna probably gonna take. I'm gonna take some of this off. Ugh. Okay. So I, I close those out. Oh, what's going on here? Okay. As I said, we've got. We're actually in this candle, so. I mean, we can reposition. Oh, yeah, I'm glad we got out of that. <laughs> it was like, it just like shamooed, right? But don't worry. Don't worry. Be happy. Don't worry. Be happy. 38% retracement. Oh, no. Not that big. Not that big. Um, oh, no. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. Okay. See if we try that again. We re enter the market um, one spot three nine six seven. Why? I took a fib. I drew, I connected the low, I connected the high from the bottom to the top, and now we're here. Uh, we bounced up to 38% retracement. And let's see if we can make a new high. Maybe. Maybe. Thirty-eight percent retracement being retested. Six one eight is at thirty-nine sixty-four. And we're at thirty-nine sixty-five. Okay, so here we go. So retesting the fifty. Oh, it didn't like the fifty. And here it hit 618. Some buyers stepped in there at the 618. Let's see if we can get some uh, some buyers to step in here. Now we're in, this is a 20 tick chart. So you're probably saying, well, so if you are sitting here on the one hour chart, you're probably not even noticing any movement at all. But these are, uh, this is a 21 tick. And you find 21 tick charts on the C Trader platform. C Trader is a high frequency active trader kind of platform. Uh, very tight spreads, low latency. And it makes cool noises too when you buy and sell. <laughs> okay. So, uh, we're bouncing off uh, one spot 3965. Nice breakout candle there. Broke this trend line here. We have a rising trend line coming up from uh, one spot 3961. And let's see if we can get a fast train to out of here. They get out of this neighborhood. It's pretty congested in here. So we've got some re some retro rockets. Melinda says fourteen thousand a month would change my life a lot. Yes, thank you. But what do I have to have in my account to trade like that? It's a real question, right? Live? Yes, Melinda, I'm live. <laughs> I mean, hold on, let me check. Yeah, I'm live. Thank God. <laughs> is it live or is it Memorax? For those of you who are old enough to remember what Memorax is. One spot 3966. 
Nice to have you in the room, Melinda. I'm lagging a bit though. I'm pro I'm I'm looking at I'm looking at my um feed and it looks like I am fine. It's actually a really good place for the uh, chat to be. So if you are, um, come over to the um, Forex Cash Machine group. And uh, we're coming up on the 4 o'clock hour, about uh, 7 minutes. See what happens. Okay, now this, we have, a, we have a, like an order, a gap. Gap right down to the 618 and to the 50 period moving average on the 20 tick chart. Retesting the bottom here. This low came in at uh, one spot 3964, and then another one came in at 364 again. So boom, boom, double bottom, and then like kid jumping on a mattress trying to. Try to touch the ceiling, right? Just jump higher, jump harder, jump higher, jump harder, right? Got a nice little uh, demand zone right there. Where's it? Oh, Bill. Okay. There's our micro demand zone. Price hit the 23% retracement and wicked up almost to the 11.4% retracement that no one really pays attention to. The price did this time. Let's see if I can zoom in so we can like Pippo Vision. Put your 3D Pippo Vision glasses on, and that way we can really see price action. Got a nice rising trend line from the demand zone. And we're good as long as we can stay above the 3964 area. And we should, we have another, um, we have about a minute left on this candle well five minutes we have five minutes left before the uh, four o'clock candle sets in and uh, usually what happens at four o'clock is the European news cycle and I probably need to check my market heat map to see if we have any news happening um, right I'll just go ahead and go to the economic calendar And see if we have anything that may come up at four o'clock. What is today? Oh, really loopy. The price action is a little on the, you know, lots of some red, some green, some red. You know, the price is having a little bit of time getting out of its own way four o'clock we have the IFO current assessment that's low um, yeah there's some there's some uh, um, German data coming out at four o'clock and it's minor the IF, IFO current assessment Okay. <laughs> I have an M MT4, uh, a laptop with an MT4. I said, no, it's up on. It's I'm actually long Aussie dollar in another account, so I'm like close some of that out too. Usually, if the pound is going up, the Aussie dollar is going up, the New Zealand dollar is going up too. 
Because those other currencies are going up. Oh. Need to break this this area here. This this little we're still in this this zone here. I'm gonna get rid of some of the, these lines here and some of this. Maybe clear the way, clear the path for a price to move higher. And I think that's probably what it needs. Yeah, that's what it needs. Do 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 do. And we get rid of the fibs. Fibs don't lie. Sometimes they do. No. So we got a nice, we have a break to the north side there, pull back to support. Let's see, we've got about a uh, minute or so to go. This is a very big bullish can. We'd like to see that stack up and continue. One minute, one minute. This is it, guys. Thirty-six seconds. Thirty-one seconds. Thirty seconds. Usually, price moves on the big hour, so you know, four o'clock. Because you'll get a new four o'clock candle, you know. So let's see what happens here. Got seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. New candle. And how's it shaking out? New five minute candle tick candle is like stuck. We're down three point two pips. And we're holding that holding that range. But coming down kind of hard. Ooh, really hard. Look at that. Thirty nine sixty two. And you know, we've got that low wick there at thirty nine sixty one. It's very you know, kind of a pretty weak you know, we try to make a high and I mean a lower high. You have a lower low, lower high, lower low. And let's see if we, uh, this low is going to be like an anchor. So let's see if that will be the anchor. Will we get a double bottom there. So it exploded all right, it exploded uh, the south, south side break there. And it's a small reversal candle there. And that's uh, one spot three nine six two. Yep, and yeah, that is a uh, no, we have a pretty good break there, and yeah, we we broke out of that. So let's see if we can flip the script on that. Down eight point one. I'll flip it. <laughs> Okay. Eight point one. So we gave back part of our part of our gains there. We closed below the um, the range, and we had this like a breakout, false break north, and now we're breaking down below that that range. We may come back and retest the range again, but uh, we might be over for the the bull the bull run. Oh yeah, it gapped. You see, it, it gapped and to test the went up gaps and let's see if it uh, comes back 
going to Coming back in the range. And this is where it gets tricky. The thirty nine sixty two. Now it's taking that <laughs> nice little, nice little whips. All right, it's like yeah, right. Okay. I'm going to actually go down to let's go down to a five minute chart on that side. Now let's see. Rally up to the sixty one percent retracement, one thirty nine sixty four. A pretty good exhaustion move up there to uh, 39.68. Let's see if we get our three wave correction against the trend. I mean, it was just a long wick. It's like, ugh, wick. Okay. And it's coming up. Kind of a, a shake and bake. And we pass a 61% retracement. Gets above the seven eight six. We're probably we're down six point nine pips. Sitting at the seventy eight percent retracement, thirty nine sixty six. You couldn't hold below, and we're thirty. 3967 68 retesting the old highs so it was like basically a shake and bake you got the trend line break and reversal All right so we, we, we are still below the trend line and is that just just to get Greg out of that trade right okay. so we're we are probably going to uh, take our lumps eight 9.8 pips stop out at 9.8 and I uh, will try it again okay nice <laughs> There we go. So like my wife, I said three three times the charm. But she's a, <laughs> this will be it. So I got whipsaw here, whipsaw there, and we're uh, looking for that break out of 39, 39.68. And if we can hold the wick, we can hold that, that wick. That long tail wick is pretty as a bullish reversal. So uh, if that long wick can uh, hold as support, then we should be able to move higher. If not, if it breaks down, then you know we might just move sideways and chop.
I'm a little bit more nimble here on a Friday, you know. I mean, I could have sat it out and for it to come back, but um, I was kind of like, cut it. <laughs> cut it quick. 3968. It's lagging. Yeah. Sometimes it lags more on some days than other days. And I'm not gonna get seven pips out of this. I'm I'm actually gonna go for full target, full Monty there, right? So we got back long at one spot three nine six nine. I figured that was like a fishing expedition just to like camera people stops and you know I mean I lost um, like nine pips on that and on the one down I lost uh, yeah, nine and I lost about eight or nine this one so I may be at break even based on those two trades um, however we have a chance to recoup uh, our to actually make a profit today if we can uh, clear 39.68 that would open up the 39.82 oh, and there we go we got our break okay cool okay yeah we yeah our old old high still stands up there will still be pretty profitable for you I'm gonna move this line out of the way Get out of my way. Get out of my way. All right. See if we'll start stacking up. And there we go. We got a nice breakout there. Breakout. Okay. That's what we're looking for. We had a false break and then um, drop back. I figured they probably want to like chase people out of the trade. Shake them out. And they did. They shook, shook me out, but got back in, right? You know, that's important, something that you got to do, that um, if you do, you know, if the reasons to get in the trade are still there, you know, you know re-enter. So we'll see. We've got, again, the old high is back here. Flagging and... Uh, I don't want to flag. Um, I mean, I want to take it like 39.82. Pretty sluggish. Took 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 a while. I could you know easily when I closed everything out, just stopped right. <laughs> but you know, I actually wanted to see that target hit. It may be something where it won't be hit until London lunches in about oh, three hours, two hours, four, no, three hours. Yeah. And I'm not going to sit here for three hours. What I'll do is no, I'll, I'll move, maybe move the stop up a little bit and then, um, and then let it run and then win, lose or draw. Hey, you know. But the, you know, the key is being able, if you, uh, I know some people, you know, they might say, I'm a little nervous, you know, I trade, it's up and down. And the thing about it, it's like that with anything, you know, if you ice skate or bicycle or play basketball, I remember driving for the first time, anything that you do for the first time, you're going to be a little shaky, a little nervous. Even when you learn how to do it, it's still, you know, it still is going to take time lots of time lots of practice for you to get good and you know, where it's just routine think about how you drive a manual transmission if you drive a manual transmission or just drive it all maybe when you first remember when you were like 15 or 16 and you learned how to drive and you were nervous and you held the steering wheel you looked both ways you followed all the rules it's very mechanical you know and but now you like sit back and eat a cheeseburger you got your you got your steering wheel between your legs, you know, you're putting on lipstick or you're turning on the radio or texting, which you shouldn't be doing. 
but you start multitasking. You're doing, you're talking on the phone, you're taking, you're doing all kinds of things. I see people doing like, you know, numerous tasks that when you start, uh, when you started driving, your full attention was on the road. In fact, you're probably a safer driver when you were younger than you were when you got more skills, right? But that only comes from what miles and miles and miles of driving days and days and days of driving to the store and driving to school and just driving in the traffic and that accumulates hours in fact malcolm gladry who wrote what ten thousand hours the master you know ten thousand hours the master is about three years right after three years you're like old hat you know say oh yeah i can do this you can do this in your sleep right um but um usually there's a learning process that people have to go through and that learning process gets you the experience that gives you that unconscious competency which allows you to trade with confidence and and so what happens is people try to buy confidence they go from one shiny object to another looking for confidence looking for confidence in all the wrong places looking for confidence in too many faces instead of you know, creating a practice where, you know, you're practicing trading. And I don't mean a demo account because demo accounts take too long. You need something where you get immediate feedback. You also need to be able to get feedback from, you know, from someone who's been doing it for a while, a mentor, a teacher, right? And that will speed your process of learning because you're getting feedback. And then also, then you're doing it in an environment that's safe, that's not taking your money, right? And I hear too many stories from traders that say, well, you know, yeah, I got a loss, you know, but I learned my lesson, I learned my lesson, you know, every time I lose, it's a lesson learned. It's like, you know, pay somebody to teach you and learn your lessons that way. Because when you're trading, when you're actually trading, um, and trying to learn while you're trading and gaining that experience you're losing money you're also not really learning because you're you're nervous about money you have anxiety about money it, when you take a loss it's like oh man i could have with this money i could have eaten with this money i could have paid a bill with this money i'm losing money you're just you know all you're, you know it's just evaporate you refund your account and then it evaporates and that that deals a very strong psychological toll when you put money into something and it goes away subconsciously you're being totally undermined you know where you know it's like subconsciously your brain just says i'm gonna make you lose this so you can stop doing this right <laughs> so you have this self-sabotage thing going on on the under on the down low right because the pain of losing money is so bad that your subconscious mind is just just sabotaging you so you can lose so you won't be in front of the computer anymore and you just you need to get yourself in an environment where you're learning how to trade without all the pressure of i've got to make this work because i've got to make some money i got it i got it anytime you got to do anything it doesn't work out it has to work out. It has to. It has to. No, it doesn't. <laughs> you know, it really doesn't. You know, you need to get into an environment. You know, can you imagine having a little kid in school learning his times tables? If you don't learn these timetables, um, you're going to be an employee for the rest of your life. You know, I mean, who does that to a little kid? You know, you, you want to create a nurturing, supportive environment. And they, they learn. They, they say, you know, kids say, oh. People say, oh, kids can learn foreign languages. They can learn anything. They have a plasticity of the mind and blah, 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 blah. No, they don't have a gun pointed to their head that they got to do this or they're going to die or you know, they're going to lose their job or they're going to not eat. You know, um, they don't have that kind of pressure that you get when you become 18 years old. Or you know, Sometimes people who don't have parents or have parents that are not functioning properly, <laughs> you know, um, all of a sudden they, you know, they're on the street and they've got to do what they've got to do. You know, I worked three jobs when I was in college. You know, how much did I, <laughs> I tried my best to learn, but my, you know, if I didn't make, make, make money, I wasn't going to be able to stay in school and pay my tuition and be able to eat. So there was, uh, you know, 
I, I've been in survival mode, <laughs> you know, and it sucks. So, you know, learning in survival mode is not a good thing. Or being ha or learning with real money is a not a good thing either. You want to be in an environment to learn, to nurture, to grow, so you can succeed as a trader. Okay, and so that and that's what you that's what Elite Traders University attempts to provide provide you that learning environment that you learn how to trade well because we have a three stage process of learning how to trade that starts off with simulation. When you hit 90% win rate, you move, it usually takes two to three weeks. We get you to demo. Once you are able to double that account with a drawdown of no more than 12 for 50, between 12 and 15%, and you got an 85% win rate. Then we move you to a live account, a small live account, maybe like $100 or $50 or $500. That way you're maybe trading to 10 cents a pip and it's now you're putting money behind your trades and now you can deal with the psychological aspects of winning and losing real money, right? Um, but you've proven to yourself in simulation that you can do it, 90% win rate. You've proven that yourself that you can do it in, in demo, right? With 85% wins and you've doubled the account. So now you have a foundation of, yes, I can do this. I'm not, the, the imposter syndrome is gone, right? And so now it's like, okay, people say, well, it's no live account. It's like, oh yeah, we'll try to double and triple a demo account. <laughs> try to double and triple a simulation account. You can't do it without my system. You have to have a system too. Um, just using traditional stuff. Uh, you know, you'll practice it and you'll practice it and get badly. <laughs> right? Um, so you want to be, be able to, when you, if you're putting this type of like an hour a day, seven hours a week, you know, nine you know, for 12 weeks, you want to put it into a system which has a high rate of, you know, the League Traders University systems, whether it's the London Banker Strategy Blueprint with Michael, if it's Pip and Run with me, if it's the Samurai Sword with Svetlana, all three of these courses have a high rate of win rate. So if you practice something that has a high percentage of wins, then you're, you know, you, you're, you're, you've you got an edge and you're putting the odds in your favor. Uh, I can't say that with anything else, <laughs> right? So it's uh, it's a lot more. And and handing you, to, handing you the Pip and Run system, a proprietary system without being able to deal with mindset and practice and um, focus, practice to gain unconscious competency, the system wouldn't work for you. You know, work for a little bit, you know, or, uh, you'll have inconsistencies because why? You haven't proven it through practice. So that's the uh, methodology. This is what we go through. And this is, it, it's an intuitive process that anytime you learn how to do anything, you start off with practice, you graduate, and then you move on to, to actual um, implementation in a real world environment, right? You, know, you don't like become an airplane pilot, take a weekend course and say, hey, fly with me. It's like, heck no, you go up and die by yourself. <laughs> I'm not going in a, an airplane with you. <laughs> hey, I just took a course on brain surgery. <laughs> Online, on Teachable. <laughs> it's like, okay. <laughs> All right, so we're, we're really close to our target and, you know, we're not going to make all of our losses back, but we're going to take some of it. Out. So that, so there you go. We took something there, right? We, so we took some, we took something there, right? Now we go to history and we go to, uh oh, go to t today. Let's see what we do today. I think we're, we, we yeah, I think we're still, yeah, we're, we're, we're still down, right? Yeah. Let's see if we can take another, another trade. You know, I, I'm, I'm really focused on here. Let, uh, let's look at the Euro. Let's take a look at the Euro. Oh, the Euro kind of like, fuck it, uh, floundering around too, right? Okay. Aussie dollar was 
nice. I was looking at my charts over here. Yeah, it's like it kind of like nice bottom off of 73.75. That was a nice bottom there. It's one of those things where you're like, why don't you short it, Greg? It's like, eh, I don't want to short it. It's been, you know, you got all these green candles here, right? That's a 20, that's 20 tick. Let's see, we got. Yeah. We had. Okay, so we got slipped. 10.1 tips. I thought it was at nine or eight okay no worries yeah. all right all right all right i don't like this uh you know it, this looks this pattern looks really tired it looks like it wants to like roll over and die from this by looking at it i know it looks like an uptrend higher highs and higher lows it just looks really tired You know, I mean, could take a short. Let's oh, okay. let's see. Okay, so we got an established high and established low. Our established low is here, and um, nope, wrong tool. Probably not down. Maybe we can like two pips? No. Four. Okay. I mean, there's some congestion down here. Uh, at the 50% rotation at 7391. Okay. It just looked tired. It looked like it wants to roll over. We have a, we have high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, and then a lower high, and now we have a lower low. And then we need a lower high. Okay. We have a, one high, lower high. And so we need a, another lower. There we go. All right. So we we could connect those two swing points. Our lower high would be seventy three ninety seven. Okay, actually, our we have a lower high. If we can break this low, then we lock in that lower high. All right. There we go. Lower high. So now, we're, see this this. Ten. It's tending to be a a, a downtrend. It's now. We've, We've got a lower high, and now we need a lower low. The low we need is um, 73.96. We can take that out. Okay, lower low, lower high, lower low. Downtrend continues, and oh, we got like a return back. The scene of the crime. Old support at 73.95. We can break that. That'd be cool. Oh, you gotta watch it. You gotta watch that because we have lower highs and lower lows, and this attempted to try to break this high. So long if we can stay below here, we're good. Below seventy-three ninety-seven. It tried to threaten that out. Try to threaten that line. Oh, it's. Trying again, and uh, I'm just gonna take my. I'm gonna take twenty five dollars out of that. <laughs> I was like, oh, <laughs> dodged the uh, dodged the bullet there, man. I got out with green. Hang now. Uh, that was yeah, that was that was janky. It's a 
21 tick chart, Greg. Okay. Now, we could get a shoulder, a head, and a shoulder on this side, but it's going to be early. It's going to take some time for it to really form out. All right. Um, let's try. And if you guys see something in uh, on a chart, let me know. My 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 pound uh, trade is uh, I got that just in time. Look at that! All right, dollar cat. Let's take. Let's go back to the well. Uh, no, probably not gonna go there. It looks sad. Okay, let's go here. Okay, so what we can do here is we've got this line. We can draw this line here. And what we can do is if we got shoulder, head, shoulder, if we get a break below this, the swing low would give us a trigger to get short. We would have a, this is our head and shoulder, we would have a neckline here All right duplicate that and then we can add that to the breakout point whenever we get there but we have a high low lower high and we are we have a trend line there so let's see if price will come up into this trend line and give us a Maybe a shot to get short. One spot one eight nine seven. We're on the euro now. We've actually changed the uh, changed the channel. I also. I have to change the, the YouTube thumbnail. It says I'll, you know, long the pound, right? Just wonder if the market makers are in here. Linda says, good to see you online. Good to see you, too. I mean, I see your posts. I don't see you, but still cool. I could, I don't know, check, uh, let's see, I can check my U, my YouTube channel, let's see, oh, we have a lower, I wanted it to come up and take, take this line out, Let, and let's see if it does, so 118.98 would be a place where it would actually go. Hey, there's five people watching on YouTube. Hey, guys. Hold on, let me get over there. Hey, there's five people watching on YouTube. Hey, guys. Oh, no. <laughs> Turn the volume down. Okay. I can say something. Hey. Hey, YouTube guys. Hey. <laughs> Happy Friday to you guys. I'm figuring out how to, you know, there's a chat box here. Okay, here it is. We're hitting that 61, uh, 618. And see if we uh, reverse off that. Another candle, another. We're we're scratching the surface there, right? Oh, and oh, and a breakout, right? Could be a fishing expedition. Fake move above the uh, one spot eight 
9.8. Whole number round number, one spot, one, one, nine, zero. Ooh, got a nice little breakout to the 100% expansion. Very bullish. 13 orders, 12 orders, 10 orders, 9. Actually, it's going back and it's kind of in backwards from 20 from 20 down to 0. Okay, yeah, yeah we've got oh, this is very good breakout. 27. 127% expansion, 1 spot, 1899. Rami candlestick pattern, trend line across the corners, keep my powder dry, we got green candle on the trend line, 1899, 1899, okay, I'm, I'm going to pull the trigger on it, okay. I'm short a euro one spot one eight nine eight. And let's see if we uh now if you guys are into harmonics, you know, Gartley harmonics and butterflies and all that stuff, it's it's related to that. Uh, there's one more at one point six one eight, but this thing could blow higher. Uh, but let's see. Okay. Down a pip. Each pip is a hundred bucks. So <laughs> I'm gonna take this trend line and draw across the wick. We always want to find the next. A lot of people, the mistake that people make is they don't redraw their trend lines. But that's our new swing point. We connect those two. Now, this is very, it's very, you know, this uptrend is pretty, uh, pretty strong. But we had a bounce there and we're, you know, maybe bouncing up toward around resistance. And so maybe it'll come back and maybe t tag this trend line, this bigger trend line here. And that would give us how many pips. If we came down from there, uh, this gives us like three pips, I guess. <laughs> and I like that, that if that trend line broke, it'd be nice, you know, then we would you know, see this area come into focus. But, uh, you know. The, it's the the angle, and this is something that you you, know, you learn from like a few years of experience, is that you have a trend angle. It's really, and if you can go into the trend line, and you go show angle, and you get this really steep, this angle here, right? And usually the, the steeper the angle, like if you get like, like that, it's like 90 degrees, right? But usually, if you have a really steep angle, that, um, you know, that some usually it's parabolic or near parabolic, then it falls pretty hard. So that looks like huge. It's a tick chart. <laughs> In fact, this is the scale for, you know, from here to here is two pips. <laughs> so, so it's like oh wow you look you're up like you know not even a half pip right but up here you can see on the five minute you've got kind of a shooting star inverted hammer kind of pattern
kind of grabbing for straws here because I'm like looking for, you know, anytime you see you got support. Support came in like around 140 uh, a.m., 240 a.m., and now you're in like no man's land, right? That was and price action is slowing down a little bit from the open. We broke this trend line, and so let's see if we can uh, come on down. Do like a Bob Barker. Come on down! I was, I was I was checking my the, the other platform that I've got going on. I don't have any trades open there. Um, I tell you, if it's slow on the tick chart, it must be really slow in the higher time frame. The five minutes, just like somebody get out and push, you know. Hey, I got four thumbs up. Thank you. Thank you for the thumbs up. I appreciate you. Someone gave me a thumbs down. I was so I was so hurt. <laughs> Not really, but you know. Maybe it's my mom and four different computers. I don't know. But thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. Oh, Stefan. Hey dude. Hey man. Hold on. I gotta like, enlarge the chat box. I saw your I saw, I saw a hi. Hey, Stefan. How's it going? Question mark. Hey, Mimi's here. Hey, Mimi. Oh. That's okay. Now you're using your your forex name. Okay, now I know who you are. How you doing, girl? Yeah, I know. This is really cool. We're, we're coming on this trend line. I'm gonna take it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you, know, you never, you never know with this. Yeah, you trade. What are you trading, Mimi? I know you're, you're a gold girl. You're the golden, golden girl. Try to see if there's any. See how prices landed. I took two swing points, connected this trend line, and price went right to that trend line right there, right. There's a moving average there at that trend line as well. It's so funny how all this stuff kind of interconnects. It's like the Matrix. Ooh. I am Morpheus. Okay. Let's see. That we we put a dent in it. Now we're still down 456 bucks. Now we're see now we're sitting on this trend line, right? See that see we're sitting on that trend line. We tagged it. Tag, you're it. Right? So it's like it might be a, a low risk opportunity to get long. With um Oh BAM! Bam! Control your enthusiasm, Greg. <laughs> it is a tick chart, and each candle, each it's like two point two point five pips there. 
and I'm seriously lagging. I'm seeing myself. Years I didn't learn to scout. If you are more on YouTube, maybe I will. Hey, okay. I got a lot of videos. I have like 1,400 videos in my library. Check them out. I'm, I've been scalping since 2000 and like, maybe when I was born, I was born scalping, right? Born to scalp. Oh, grab another 68 bucks. All right. We're digging ourselves out of a hole. Hey, now. Can I get a whoop whoop? Maybe it got a lot of that a little earlier. You get the old high coming in right there. I mean, bam! Yeah, I'll just save a little longer on that. Whole number, round number, we're at one spot one nine zero zero, banker's line. Oh, reversal. Double top, maybe? Maybe. Got like an inside day candle or harami. Got a big candle with a small body red candle. Usually that's a bearish reversal. Maybe. Move the circle out of the way. Let's see. Getting kind of late over here. It's almost 5 a.m. Okay. Come on down. The round number was the one spot one nine zero zero. And I'm just trying to grab this. I can grab me if I grab. If I grab two pips out of this, can we can we grab two pips out of this? Okay. And then, oh, the silver. Hey, it says the silver twenty three. How often do you broadcast live? Um, I've been doing uh, Facebook lives when there's news. Actually, it was no news, you know, and I'm still in in, tr in a trade. But uh, um, no, I was trading the, Br the British pound earlier, and um, oh, this looks kind of like a, a bullish reversal candlestick pattern here. We have a belt hold where we have a bullish candle, two bearish candles, and sandwich between a bullish candle. Yeah, I better abandon ship here. But let's see. One spot, yeah. Uh, abandon ship. Flip, flip the switch, Greg. Ah. We got three, two, one. Reset. Give me another candle. The Harami was bearish only for a little bit. Candles never tell you how far they will price could go. Um, you know, if you're using like a daily candle and you get like a bearish reversal candlestick pattern on a on a daily chart, well, you know, you might, you know, you can get 15, 20, 30, 50 pips, right? Um, okay. 
So that's that's good for the home team. I think we're we're scoring there. Pounding gold. I don't blame you. No, yeah, the pound is pound was pretty good. Pretty good. It was pretty good to me until I got ganked out of this. I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll, I'll, I'll purge myself. So that I was doing good. You know, I had my tar I mean the target, but this this one. Long wick. I was long here at the top. I mean, it's a five minute chart. I was long and then I got out. I just closed it, you know, stopped out. And then it just wicked me out and then turned. And I got back long and then it's, it topped out here and then dropped, you know. So it got really you know, sketchy over there. So let me get back over here. Yeah, so. What's this thing down? Kind of undulating. I'm down 1.3. This is our, we have a rising trend line here. 31 degree. And it was when I checked the, check the, uh, let me, let me go out. The time frame. I'm on a five minute. I want to go out to an hour. Yeah, I got some from there. Okay. All these targets. Turn off the sentiment. I need to go out to maybe to a two hour chart. Two hours. Two hours. Okay. Two hour. Well, you see, you got, see that old high back here from, uh, where is that? That is from June 7th. What's a high? June 7th high. There. So that was our high, and we smacked right into it. So maybe, but yeah, it was a really, really choppy mess there. We go to a four-hour chart, maybe smooth it out. Four-hour chart. Some of these old trend lines pick up some of my mess clean up clean up clean up everybody do their share clean up clean up everybody show you care all right clean up clean up oh body is okay let's see i've got i got a chat Somebody. Can we do 9 a.m. CDT on Monday? 9 is 10. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Come on down. Ooh, we got another candle we've been on for ooh, a little bit longer than I anticipated. Um, we are ooh, 0 0.8 pips, and we bounced off a 50 moving average and a break, 1.7. We might have to end up uh, with a loss to, uh, today. Um, we have an, uh, 452. Let me get rid of this stuff here. Twenty-three percent retracement with a one spot one eight seven four. We might, if we break out and hold above this area, we could have a shot at uh, one spot one nine four nine. I 
I mean, this was a. Uh... And you always want to che always check like the dollar index. So we don't have the dollar index on uh, this platform, but what we can do is we go to the dollar southeastern Kentucky, <laughs> the SEK, right, and see how she's behaving. And uh, so let's see if I can find it. Right, that's no. It's in this area. There it is. Okay. There she is. Okay. Yeah, she pulled back pretty hard. It's just an, it's an uptrend. We're sitting right on the 38% retracement. So, the the dollar south uh, this this is the Swedish kroner. Um, if it's uh, if this starts starts to trend up then usually your other currencies euro dollar aussie dollar pound dollar are gonna trend down as well right so we've got a so we've got a nice uh boom well that was nice i don't trade this because the spreads are kind of wide and you need a lot of margin but when this one goes up it usually indicates that you know the euro is going down right but this is a tick chart. Let's go down to five in it. Well, this is like really small, little, little move here. <laughs> it looks so much larger on the um... yeah, and it looked like it it died, like it went to sleep, right? So I'm gonna put like a, maybe a 10 pip stop. It's almost five o'clock. I'm gonna get five minutes. I'm gonna give it five more minutes, and um, and invite you guys. Uh, you know, check out uh, check out my uh, free Facebook group, www.the4xcashmachine.com, and I have some live streams in there, and some videos, and tutorials, and tips and tricks. Check it out. Love to have you. Love, love to have you aboard. Jay De Silva. Hey man. I'm like looking. Da Silva 23. I, I my brain's like going. I know this person. <laughs> I I know you. How, how you been? Hope, hope you're doing well. Now, when I don't trade gold, but I'll take a look at it. You let me let me know what you see. It's up here in the metals. Metals. Heavy metal, dude. Rock on. Okay. Whoa. Let me get rid of object manager indicators. Get rid of the round numbers. Doesn't work here. All right. Yeah. yeah here, here's your gold and uh, I mean it's just rocking it came to a nice fib level nice bounce 50% retracement bounce one spot oh okay this baby is let me get this bad boy is going the wrong way okay yeah yeah oh yeah 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 we have got a yeah, we gotta. Yeah, we're just gonna. We're not gonna fight the trend. Don't fight the trend. Don't fight the trend. I'm gonna th throw a. Ooh, maybe a but like a maybe a 15, 17 pip stop. Limit at 119.49. Okay, I'll go back to gold. Oh, batteries are low in the that. But yeah, we got a nice little pop right there on gold, uh, right there, hitting the old high. Um, and then if you put an extension on that, then it looks pretty tasty. We have a, you know, the old high 1834.66, and then 1843 is a 618. But these expansions look tasty at the 1876 for the 100% expansion. If this was a 
a Gartley pattern A B equals C D, then point D is somewhere up in here. So Why not? Uh, Mimi, are you are you long gold? Well, it's kind of like pseudo inverted head and shoulders pattern there. And then I, I you know, we would probably even see the old high coming back at me. That we're we're moving up off, off that bottom pretty pretty handily. If we can't get past 1874, then we we would crash maybe. But this is we're making a higher low, higher high, higher low. We're making higher highs and higher lows. Okay. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching me in live stream. I really appreciate your thumbs up, your likes, and uh, I appreciate you and uh, wish you all the best. Have a great weekend, and uh, we'll talk to you. We'll see you soon. All right? Cheers. Peace and pips. Bye.